morning. I'm back. I'm so sorry I've been gone for so long, but I have been not so well. I have been working on me. I have been going through a divorce. The divorce will be filed on December 23rd. Uh, my hair has grown. I lost about 30 pounds since you saw me, and I'm doing that on purpose. Since I started taking control of my life and started working on my arts and crafts and things about three years ago, I have gone down from 312 pounds to 233 pounds. That's 70, 69, 79 pounds. Yeah, 79 pounds. It's a lot of weight. It's a lot of weight. Yeah, I'm very proud of myself. Anyway, uh, I have my You Are Beautiful in French shirt, Lizette Bell shirt on. I had a little thyroid scan, uh, biopsy done two Mondays ago at the VA. They're taking excellent care of me. It was right near my carotid. No procedure that should have taken five minutes, took two hours, but the doctors were being very, very cautious. Uh, my carotid artery kept rolling, so they had to be very cautious, and uh, I bleed easy. It's very weird. Anyway, uh, benign, no cancer. Yay. We're going to monitor me every six months, do a, an ultrasound, make sure. It's probably going to grow. I have Hashimoto's, and uh, they're probably going to take the other half out. Doctor should have taken the first part, the whole thing out when he took the first part out because my grandmother, my mom, my dad, my mom and dad both had grave, had Graves' disease. Well, my dad's still alive. Love him. Uh, my mother's sister, my sister, me, and now my niece. Oh, thyroid problems. Figure the odds. I look at my daughter and I say, get the thyroid problems from your mama's side of the family. Not the diabetes from your dad's. So I gotta say. Anyway, today is not Friday. Even though I'll probably post this tomorrow. Yeah, we'll make it a Pink Flamingo Friday thing. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Because we're gonna be working on Pink Flamingos. Yay! For my sister's camp, Mingo. She's naming her camp Mingo. They named camps in Grand Isle, which is where her camp is. Uh, it's an isle, a barrier island on the Gulf Coast of Louisiana. I'm making coffee right now. I'm gonna be painting uh, this. I have my flamingo head cell phone holder my sister gave me to use as an example of what a flamingo beak looks like because I didn't <laughs> paint the beaks yet. <laughs> Just some of the bodies. And uh, I started this like three or four, like a month or so ago. And my life's just been crazy, y'all. I'm down to one dog. I had three. I, I'll i talk more about that in a little while. But I think my coffee's done. I just put coffee to roast. Oh, the way I lost weight, portion control and moving more. I walk either on my treadmill, which I call Flamingo, because I go like a flame on it. <laughs> a candle flame, but a flame nonetheless. Uh, and there's also, we have a Veterans Memorial down here, which is fabulous. Um, and there's, it's huge. It's like, I can walk a 5K there and not be bored. And there's lots of pokey stops there. I play Pokemon Go. My daughter has me addicted. I know I'm a freak, but I'm a happy freak. <laughs> anyway, I'm bad today because I woke up at 9.38 and I looked at the clock and I went, oh, and I won't say what I said because it's a bad word that starts with an S. Well, it's not a bad word. It's an actual body function, but I won't say it. And uh, I was supposed to have physical therapy at 9.30. <laughs> this makes two weeks in a row that I'll go to physical therapy, but oh, that was a good pop. Uh, I have been doing stuff a little... Mm. And drinking a lot of water is a very good thing, too. I'm taking a break from my Celebrex, which means my whole body aches since it's fall now and fronts keep coming through. And that makes my body ache. I'm also waiting right now before I start painting because the sun is coming from this direction, the southeast, and it's on my painting surface and um, through the window. And that's a little annoying. So I'm waiting. 
So let me tell you a story about the dogs. Uh, it was just getting too much for me to take care of my dogs. I had three of them. I had Clover, I had Souffle, and I had Frenny. Uh, Clover I rescued from the neighbor who had rescued from the neighbor. And the reason why I rescued her from the neighbor is because when her son, who is now 10, was three, yeah, five years ago, uh, and he's deaf, bless his little heart, he picked her up by the tail, she was like less than a year old, and swung her around, broke her tail. Yeah. Anyway. So I rescued her. It's the cutest little thing. She's a half dachshund, long-haired dachshund, half beagle. Looked like a long-haired dachshund, but with a barrel body and the coloring of the beagle. Sweetest thing, <laughs> dumb as a rock. <laughs> but the sweetest thing ever. Could never house train that thing. <sighs> and then uh, the not soon enough to be ex killed my rescue dog that I had for five years, my rescue lab, when he didn't close the garage door like I told him he needed to when he was bringing the dogs in. Because we lived right on the highway. And Rita went on the road and got killed when I was at Disney with his niece and nephew and my daughter and uh, from Columbia. And uh, still hurts me. Anyway, he got me another rescue dog that was part lab and souffle. But souffle is a jelly dog. She's very jealous of everybody and everything. She attached herself to me, souffle. I call her souffle, which is... French for like a breath because she would breathe all over me you, you know how dogs go that's what she did and the first time she did that I went oh you souffled me and she looked at me and I'm like is that your name souffle she went, oh. I'm like so that's her name souffle and uh it was <laughs> it was her name and she actually spoke French it was really cool uh, but she was a jelly dog, and uh, then we got a puppy. He got a puppy, a lab, blonde lab puppy. Frenny. I named her Frenny because my life was frenetic, which it always is. But Frenny's my friend, and Frenny is a mellow dog, even though she's still a puppy. And a lab, and she's my therapy dog now. Well, she is house trained for the most part. Oh, that's my coffee going off. And um, I have a friend from down here who has a non-kill shelter rescue boarding service uh, in New Orleans. And I surrendered my two puppies to her. And uh, they were both adopted within two weeks. So I'm glad about that. So I'm going to go get me coffee. The sun's just about moved out by the time I get my coffee done. I'll be ready to paint and we'll be doing that and I'll tell you more stories. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And yes, the UPS man is here bringing my knitting stuff. Yes, I ordered some knitting needles. Yay! Uh, I taught myself how to knit. My mom was a knitter. She did not teach me how to knit because my mom lacked patience. My mom was not a very patient person. <sighs> Bless her heart. Love my mom to death. But I went to France for a year to study when I was in college. I got a French degree, my first degree. And the only reason why I got a French degree is because my first semester in college, I took French 101. And the French professor told us that uh, being we were in Louisiana and those of us who were Cajun, and I am Cajun, if we majored in French or French ed, we could get a scholarship from Codafil, which is the Council for the Development of French in Louisiana through the French government study in France, Canada, or Belgium for a year, a semester, or a summer. And all we'd have to pay for is our airfare. And I'm like, really? I'm going to do that in three years? And I came, went home and I told mom and dad that that's what I was going to do. And they were like, yeah, okay, sure. Because, you know, they didn't believe me. And three years later, they put me on a plane to France. Because I also got a Lions Club Cultural Exchange Scholarship for two weeks in Arcachon, which is near Bordeaux. I backpacked through Western Europe, because that's before the wall came down. That was in 86, the summer of 86. I backpacked all over Europe, and I learned that Italian men age 8 through 88 will hit on you, no matter what, no matter what time of day, no matter where you are. 
I had an audience with Pope John Paul II on a Wednesday, and he talked about good angels and bad angels. And he blessed me, my family, my friends, and everybody that I was to know in the future. So you've been blessed by a saint. Congratulations. And I studied in Angers, which is on the Loire River. It's where all the castles are. I loved every single minute of it. Did not, I, I was so glad I did that. I, went, I actually went to the same school that the Notre Dame students went to. And they were paying, at that time, in, in 86, $16,000 a year in room board and tuition. And the French government was paying me to go there. They were like, you got a scholarship from the French government to come here just because you're from Louisiana? And like, and you, you go to a public school in Louisiana? And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, oh man. So anyway, my chickens are laying eggs. We have five chickens. Four chickens and one rooster. One of the chickens a friend of mine gave me, I named Joycey. It's a white frilly. Well, we thought it was a chicken. It's a rooster. His name is still Joycey. I named it after my mama. And it, boy, does he have my mama's attitude. He, he's a little bantam frilly. He throws himself into singing, let me tell you. He is loud and proud when he crows. Oh, I took some film. I might, I might interject some film of that in here, of Joycey crowing, because he's just actually too cute. And I love my chickens. They lay, they're laying right now. My dad wants to get a few more because they're only laying like one or two eggs a day. We'd like more eggs because eggs are very, very good for you, particularly if you have a neurological disorder, which I do. I have MS. Help with brain power and all of that good stuff. See, I'm doing the highlights on their heads and trying to give them the mention with this lighter pink. So this pink mixed with this pink. I love these. These um, catalyst um, they're, they're rubber, spatula kind of little thingies. And they mix paint really well. And they're good little scrapers. And you can paint with them. You can use them like a, a, a paintbrush. And, uh, but you can mix with them really well. And I use this monster one to turn the light switch on and off over there. Ha <laughs> ha! That's a pretty color right there. Let me, let me do some coloring with that now. Yeah, add dimension here and there. Because the flamingos are getting a little dark, I was thinking. I was thinking. And we don't like them too dark. Flamingos need to be multi-textured and multi-colored. Lots of vavoom. Vavoom. And that's how I'm feeling today. Vavoomy. I had my house open for two weeks. I was so happy. It was nice and cool. But now it's getting up into the 80s again. And the wind from the south, so very humid. Can't have that. I like this with the dark underpainting. So I hope y'all have been doing well and been creative and doing all kinds of wonderful things. I know my friend Laverne up in Michigan has sent me a wonderful, wonderful care package and I love it dearly. I bring, she sent me two wonderful flamingo journals because she knows I love my pink flamingos and one of them I carry in my purse at all times. I bring with me and I put, I have Prima watercolors, the, the travel watercolors, and I have two of the, uh, what is it, the original, the brights, whatever it is, uh, two of one of them, and I put that in my purse with some uh, permanent ink, uh, ink pens, and uh, I carry that with me at all times so I can do some sketching, and uh, when, while I'm waiting for appointments and stuff, 
uh, at the VA because <laughs> I'm always there. Uh, I go there like twice a week. It's like 80 miles to drive to New Orleans for me. And, and if you would go like, like the pelican flies, <laughs> Because we have brown pelican. The brown pelican is the pelican of, is the state bird of Louisiana. Uh, if you go like the pelican flies, it's only 30 miles, but there's water. So you can't go like the pelican flies. You have to go by car, and that's 80-something miles. And that's a tiring trip to make twice a week. Even once a week. Let me tell you. Oh, this is turning out so lovely. I'm just going to keep adding and adding and adding and adding to this. Is my sister's wild and crazy like me? But my sister is a, a family physician, and bless her heart, she's a family practice doctor. They have to take boards every 10 years, and she's due this year, and she's been studying so much and so hard. And I asked her, she was in med school. She's 14 months older than I am. I just turned 52. Camille, have things changed a lot? since you became a doctor and she said when I became a doctor there was one medicine for diabetes insulin now there are five classes of drugs to choose from to treat diabetes five classes of drugs just for diabetes alone that is crazy. Let me do a slight pink with this darker pink. Mix that and see what we get. And we got something absolutely gorgeous. It's different from what we got already. So she's been studying and then we had taken that fishing break. It was so much fun to go fishing. When I grew when I was growing up we had a camp in the marsh. Well we had two different camps. One when I was little bitty and then we had another one when I was a little older. We used to go frequently. I love it. Yeah. Let me show you how you... Oh, now that's pretty. Look at it. You know, I'm putting it on the wrong place. Yeah. yeah, so anyway, I grew up hunting and fishing in the marsh around here. And I'm glad my sister has the camp because now my daughter, my dad got my daughter uh, her own fishing line. Oh, as a disabled vet, that's 60% service connected. I not only qualify for disabled license plate, and I don't have, and I qualify for free passage to Grand Isle. I don't have to pay the toll, thank God, because I'm on disability. With my MS and my bad knees and everything. I mean, when you have doctor's appointments like twice a week at least, I don't pay to go to state parks. I don't pay to go to national parks as a disabled veteran that is service connected. Let me explain this. There are certain disabilities that you can be as a, a veteran. You can be a disabled veteran and not be service connected. Okay? You can have a disability, like I have MS, and it's not service connected right now. Even though I was showing signs of my disability when I was in, and I know other people in my unit who had who have MS, burn pit issues. I'm working on that. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me concentrate a little bit right now. Uh, while I do his beak. Cause I can't talk and paint sometimes. There, it's lovely. He's got a beak. This is in front, so his beak's gonna go over that tail. So I'm gonna let that dry. I'm, I'm concentrating, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't concentrate and, and and talk at the same time. I'm so bad. Okay, now I can talk. What was I saying? Oh, disability in the VA. The important thing if you're a veteran is to have it service connected and I have 60% service connected. Even though VA math is weird. It's common core math, honest to God. Because I have 30% from my right knee 30% for my left knee, 10% for my sinuses, 10% for general anxiety disorder, and that adds up to 60%. I know what you're saying, but wait, Lee, 10, 10, 30, 30, that adds up to 80. And I agree with you. 
I agree wholeheartedly, but not according to the VA. It's weird. What you gonna do? That's VA math for you. Okay, so back to pink flamingos. I think that'll work. That'll work. Does that work? I got other colors, but okay. Goes smooth, and then he comes smooth. Oh, this is the best one yet. Yes, indeedy do. So I go in the back in my yard, in my backyard, and I hang out with the chickens every once in a while. I have chicken therapy, and I hold them. They like to cuddle. Do you have chickens? If you don't, you should see about getting them. They're really easy, and the eggs are so good. We did have incidences with the dogs, with souffle and clover, killing a couple of them, three of them. Isabel became Izzy. It we found, turned into a rooster. Yeah, my dad decided, wouldn't it be a great idea to let this rooster go free range? And then he jumped back in the fence. The dogs got him. <laughs> Poor Izzy. And then my friend who gave me Joycey, she gave me three more chickens. She gave me Audrey Hepburn. She gave me Betsy Ross and the Black Madonna. I wanted to call Black Madonna, what's that woman's name? I can't remember. Oh, oh yeah, Rosa Parks. You see, I can't remember Rosa Parks' name to save my life frequently. But I was in there saying a rosary while I opened the cage to let the three in with the others so that they would establish pecking order nicely. I know, I'm strange, but I wanted the pecking order to go smoothly, and I figured if I said a rosary, it would help. You know, prayer, prayer, the power of prayer is amazing. I couldn't think of Rosa Parks' name to save my life. The Black Madonna came to mind. I went to the shrine of the Black Madonna in Missouri. We still have Black Madonna. She's growing. She hasn't laid yet. She is a... Still young and sprightly. She was born in March. She's the youngest, but she's growing rather rapidly. Okay, I think the eye should go around here. I should go around here. The eye is gonna go here, just because I can.
Thank you.